Good morning, it's Lawrence Payne here, we're on Mosaic Workshops and today I want to have a look at a mosaic which uh, in my mind gives us a little bit of an insight into the craftsman that uh, made them. Now this was a photo that was sent to me, apparently this was up for auction some time back, uh, mosaic obviously of a boar provenance, I'm afraid I don't know uh, the location or where it, where it is now, where it came from, but just have a look at some details here so see nicely done mosaic of a boar um, you notice the, the the difference between the standard work of the boar itself and of the background which does make me think that the uh, money mosaicist did that they did the boar and then the assistants were left to do the background now the size difference here means this could be an emblemata it could have been done Onto, um, onto its own tray and then taken in and recessed, set into the villa, into the villa floor and the rest of the mosaic here with these larger tesserae set around it. So we look at the boar itself, notice how well the, the lines are set here. Uh, you've got almost like the, um, the extra fur across the uh, shoulders here going back there. Um, you've got the almost sort of the horizontally curved lines here. Now they're slightly more vertical here. And on the hind quarters, you can see how they have these descending lines that follow the line of the, uh, the, the line of the muscles. What I really want to highlight with this is if we go up to the, the head. Now look here on the front from the forehead down to the snout and notice the tesserae have been set in a diamond pattern so rather than here these are following these horizontal vertical curved lines these are specifically set in uh, to create a diamond shape a, di a diamond pattern now this to me is something that could denote a style for this particular mosaics um, unfortunately if, if we only had the other mosaics if we only had the the other mosaics from around that area it would be interesting to see if we could see this this attention to detail this particular style replicated in any other mosaics that we could say maybe that that was that mosaicist who did the the same work so it's just small details like this keep an eye out for them and i feel it just gets us a little bit closer to the craftsman who actually made these pieces